We got different age groups that's here that's gonna talk about what we need to talk about to fix the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Not only the youth, how we gonna protect the, the elders, you know what I'm trying to say, and help them around. I hate to talk about my stories, but one of the main stories that I get is that my imprisonment, you know what I'm saying? I did a lot of wrong when I was on the street, but I'm trying to correct it now, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people recognize me for that, but I want to recognize me for what I'm doing now. My imprisonment, I watched the youth come in throughout the years, my whole 27 years, I watched how they came in, you know, from the time that my generation, my peers came in, you know, how Harlem, how New York, period, the whole generation all around the world, they done went from, you know what I'm saying, being what we was called as men, you come in, they can't get a package, they, they can't call their moms, and I don't understand it. You can't go, you can't call somebody to get you a suit, they ain't even know how to do that. And not only that, you know, jail is very territorial in the feds. And I'm telling y'all to tell you this because, you know, New York was always the underdog, you know what I'm saying? And us being the underdog, we always had to wreck hard. You know, when they came in, you know, they had the language to walk, yo, son, you already know I'm a bus son. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a name. But then I'm finding out, it took me a long time learning, but I'm finding out, they go to lunch, they're like, yo, where am I going to put my knife? Nigga, that's yours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, when they get into other groups that I don't build relationships with, other men that was in college, you know, they became my homies more than my real homies. But when they get into altercations with another group, and I'm like, yo, the homies be like, yo, let them go ahead and handle that. They go in there, they ain't even fighting in the last minute. They come out, yo, I'm on the right, such and such and such. I'm like, yo, what? Y'all wasn't even in there. I live at least if you gonna get your eye busted, bite them or something. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I found myself finding that New York was a bottom all the way to the door. I lost all my good time. I could have been home. But at the same time, a lot of times that was a reflection. I felt it was a reflection of me. That was stupid of me, thinking it was a reflection of me. Because me being a man, them niggas ain't challenging me. And when I do have a fight, we gonna fight. You know what I'm trying to say? One thing about it, when I go to fight, we, you know if you get into something in the jail and we come out with the knives, somebody gonna die or we, something gonna happen. Once we get to the broadcast, me doing my podcast, I got all my write-ups and all that shit. You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm not patting myself on the back. This is true Bill's story. It was a reflection that had me challenging other people. You know what I'm saying? So I got a young dude, 20 something years old. I'm there in my 40 something. And I'm, you know, I'm like, now I'm challenging him like any little thing. I'm trying to get him to jump out there and fight to the point where I'm just going in the cell with like, yo, nigga, throw your hands up. And I'm wrecking on him. This homie is like, damn, I thought that was between. I'm like, yo, you already know what it is, nigga. But I was in my feelings. I took it all the way to the door. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying this, man. <coughs> you got my Philly man there, he can verify all of this. And at the same time, I see how the state of the youth have felt. I wasn't even caring about that when I came home because my state was that grab the dudes that I left behind, make sure they get lawyers for the litigation. You know what I'm trying to say? Whether it be lawsuits or they, or they case. That was my play when I came home. But when I see the state that the youth was in, I was like, yo, I got to catch them before they get there. You know what I'm saying? So what can I do? So I started this program. You know what I'm trying to say? But then when I look at the whole program, it's the whole city, period. You know what I'm saying? I'm not racist. I'm a Muslim. You know what I'm trying to say? We got a whole, we got a whole, we got all kind of nationalities and other this. So at the same time, this is once Harlem all black owned. You probably have one Chinese restaurant in there. You know what I'm saying? That's because we like Chinese food. But at the same time, this is all black owned. When I come back, we got Spanish dudes off the hill coming down here. You everybody. know what I'm saying? We got everybody down. I'm like, yo, everybody got their own. You know what I'm trying to say? Even even a, even a, even the nation Islam, they got their own. Yeah. You got the you got Jewish communities in every borough. Sure. You know what I'm saying? We lost Harlem, and how we lost it from the politicians. You know what I'm trying to say? The politicians that we put in place. So we got to watch that. And that's one of the things we're going to tackle when it's time to vote. You know what I'm trying to say? We're going to put those that need to be there that's going to help the community. And we're going to be out there help them get in a position. And they're going to help us. If they don't help us, they're going to get caught out there. That's all I'm saying. We're going to look out for our community. You know, even if I got to go into these jails, raggers out of no state, and talk to the big homies, which is my little homies, and I'm going to let them know, yo, look, the, the town ain't the same. Y'all started this gang shit because of one thing and flipped to another thing. You know what I'm trying to say? This is not California. We're not doing that shit. We're not running backwards on some California stuff. So we need to talk to the little homies on what's going on out here. You know what I'm trying to say? And a lot of times, we can't expect the police are 
for the police. Let's get that the taxpayers is paid to police us. You know what I'm saying? That's why they have all all kind of organizations coming up like the Black Panther oh. and uh, Nation of Islam, oh. but controlling our own neighborhoods. So we got to get back to the fundamentals of these things right here. You know what I'm saying? Controlling our own neighborhoods. And not only that, we don't have no kind of game rooms or, you know what I'm saying, after school centers where they can come and play air hockey and none of that. When we grew up, that's where we was at. You know what I'm saying? We was forced to the street coming out of poverty. We had to put food on the table. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, these kids today, they got more opportunities. And that's one of the things that my program gonna get, all kind of entrepreneurial and work. Uh, not only that, we got a female group, you know what I'm saying? That's spearheaded, they, they got the best program under my umbrella right now, you know what I'm saying? Because they help a lot, you know what I'm saying? And we as men, we gotta start showing up and helping too. We men. Lou got the right idea, you got the right idea, Mo got the right idea, we all got the right idea. We ain't gotta take him to write this out. We all write this out. We all write this out. You understand what I'm saying? So they stop it. We don't need to take him to no prison. They paying me to go down to Boston, D.C. tomorrow. Right. To go into a prison, mm-hmm. which I think it. is stupid. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta take. You got a million war stories. <laughs> you got a million war stories. I got a million war stories, and that's just prison. It's prison right here. Yeah, 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 but not just that. Yeah. If we got Mo Grime out here, right. you know what I mean? We got everybody right. out here that got war stories from the streets. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't get a hundred and five thousand people listening to me on mm-hmm. YouTube for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? That's what all of y'all are missing. You know what I mean? I come home, I see what's going on. You understand? They don't know what's going on on the other side of the fence, and they don't know what really go on on the street because the men like us just knew we wasn't here. So they ran around doing what they wanted to do with no consequences and no repercussions. You know what I mean? But when you get in prison where it's a tighter environment, right. now That's you right. can That's see right. who's doing what and discipline who needs to be disciplined. There you go. When me, I grew up, I said, Jamaican, you're violating, nigga, shoot you in your leg. And they love you. But he's gonna shoot you in your leg because you know he could have killed you to let you know you violated. Depends how serious the violation was. Right. So what I'm saying is that's why I do my channel. I'm up there by myself telling stories mm-hmm. every day, and my man right there on YouTube, and I got people coming to watch me every day. So that means I'm saying something. I got a YouTube phone right there. I can show you right now. I got over 100 calls a day that I didn't answer because I'm here with the big homie. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm just listening to y'all talk about prison and and trips and all that. No, we need to sit down and let them know the real. They don't know what happens when you tell. Mm-hmm. They don't know when dudes was getting decapitated for telling. They don't know when dudes, girls was getting stabbed and cut in the face for telling. Mm-hmm. They don't know none of that. So we have to tell them these stories. You understand what I'm saying? So we can't say, oh, I got stories but I don't want to talk about. It. No, if we don't talk about it, they won't know about it. We don't need to take them in prison to see. All of us here sat here with, with, with decades that we did in prison. And we had to live a certain way that we're not proud of, but we survived it. And that what was called for in that environment because we had wolves from every state, like Wolf said. Mm-hmm. Like Lou said, you got killers in every state. Mm-hmm. So you at Long Park, you at Victorville. Like I said, Lou went out there to Victorville, and, 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 and I admire that. I tell him about that a hundred times because I get to Victorville after he get there. And this is how crazy Victorville was. All this is a YouTube shit I'm giving you. You know what I mean? So y'all sitting there talking about going into prison. I get to Victorville and they set up a whole new unit. Remember they had four unit closed loop from the last ride all the way in the back? They closed that unit and then they opened it up and was gonna make it an honor unit. A honor unit for anybody that's doing good, that did, cause it was always locking down now because of the gun violence. You was there. Remember when they opened that unit that I wound up wiggling my way in because I got the unicorn and all that? They got this unit, and when they did it, the SIS, the people that run the security joint, the SIS, they went up in there, and when they went up, well, 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 but when they went up in there, the first thing they did was put up 10 TVs. You know what I mean? Hold up, Chinese. The first thing they did was put up 10 TVs, and then they went to all the shot callers in the jail and told them to choose a TV. They got the inmates choosing the TV where they want to sit in the prison mm. because they know that that's the pacifier. You understand? Yeah. So when so when Lou get there, it was only a handful of New York dudes and DC dudes and East Coast dudes. But Lou went up to him, went to war, and told them, "Nah, nigga, we need a TV. Forget all that. We out here saw the Serenos and the Bloods and the Crips from the West Coast. 
Luke went single-handedly and went and got a TV for it. I wasn't there. When I got there, they were still talking about this. And they wasn't calling it uh, New York TV or East Coast. They were saying Lou's TV. Mm. This was Atlanta? Nah, this was in Victorville, all the way out in California. Okay. Lou went and took a TV because we didn't have one. So I'm telling you that when they opened up a unit, you know, you don't been to prison now, everybody got a TV. The blacks got a TV, the whites got a TV, the Mexican got a TV, the this got a TV. But East Coast didn't have a TV. So Luke went up there, he didn't say, I'm taking this for me. He said, I'm taking this for the East Coast because we need a TV. It might only be a few of us, but but we count too, nigga, and we ready to go to war for this. And he single-handedly did that. And then after he left, of course, you know, the DC brothers tried to move in and tried to make it a DC TV, you know what I mean? When that's who did it. Imagine the youth hearing these stories, so they know you go in there, you gotta be ready to fight and die over something as simple as a TV, because it's respect. I thought a whole lot of people would have been there, right? I always send them the flyers, so if they don't come, they nah, don't need to be here. Let me finish what I'm saying. They don't need to be here. Those that said that need to be here. And I'm glad my man came, because I hit him, everybody up, I hit him every Friday. That's how I'm doing a lot. Just to check on him. If you got something you need to tell me, tell me on Friday. Look, what Lou trying to do and what, what, what OG said is right. I know Lou personally, and I know a lot of people that's intimidated by Lou. Because they hear the boogeyman stories from the Lynch Marvin back in the day. So now he's trying to do something positive. So what Daniel said was 100% right. Dudes don't know what his motive is, where his heart is. We know where his heart is. You know, I know when he teased me about the 500 that he really owed me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that he just being Lou. But somebody else might take it the wrong way. But oh man, you owe Lou money? You understand what I'm saying? Nah, that's Lou, man, you know? Because, you know, he's a good hearted person, but they don't know that. But we need to come together. Tiny know a lot of people. We all know a lot of people. This is a good space. All the day was at the thing that I don't think Lou really understood that I'm up the hill in Washington Heights. The same way I'm loved down here, y'all don't know because it's a different world up there. I'm loved up there. When I go up there, them Dominicans run to me. You know what I mean? I'm the triple OG to Dominicans. I'm a Moreno. That's what they call a nigga up there. You understand? But we need to bring them down here with us and get them together because those little homies up there can't come down here. And these little homies down here on this block, they can't go up there. But I go to both and I'm hearing both sides and I'm asking them why you can't go up here. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they don't have a reason. They, they don't even know what the so old original like beef was. They yeah. stick together way more than we do. No, exactly, but but that's what Lou is doing now is bringing us together. So all of us in here, we got the power where we know people on every block because we all from different blocks. You understand what I'm saying? And we need to bring them in here and not just the old heads come, we bring the youngins. We right here and you got all these little dudes down here sitting over there and, and on the stoop. You understand what I'm saying? They need to be up here and hear us speak. And that's what I meant by tell them those war stories because they don't know the real streets or what go on behind the prison because they haven't been there. All they know is the dudes coming out of the prison with their pants sagging saying, yo, I made it, homie. Rikers Island wasn't shit. I made it. Uh, uh, Clinton wasn't shit that much. And they were scared of death. But now they're out here pushing this thing. So now the little ones under them hear that and they think, oh, I can go in there and I can survive. If he survived, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? And they take it as a joke. So that's why they need to hear our stories. We need to bring those Dominicans from down up there and let them see what Lou and us trying to put together. That's why we have to come but up with a solution. 